What's up, babes? It's Scarlett Victoria. Good morning. My hair is wet. I just rinsed my hair. You you guys know that I tell you that I rinse my hair often in the summertime. So my my robe is soaked on the back because my hair is dressed. But I had to put on something to come see y'all. But anyway, this is what my hair is looking like right now. Like I said, it's super wet. I just got out of the shower. Um, Girl, I am cramping so bad. And the thing about it is it's not even day one. It's day three. And I knew that this time of the month was going to be difficult because I've been so stressed out. Like, I hate to admit it, but I have. You know, I've had a lot going on in my life. So I was not feeling good. Two days in a row, I was like sick. Today, I'm still not feeling the best, okay? But we're going to try to push through because I got things to do. So I got my detox water. Just sat overnight literally by my bed. Um, I'm going to be on some detox water today because, girl, I got to get the cramps. I got to get the cramps. I got to get the cramps. I got to detoxify my body. It's just, it's a lot going on. So... I already made it yesterday. Um, girl, I was up so late. Oh, you know when you don't be feeling good and you just be tossing and turning? That. <sighs> let me let this hair air dry a little bit because it's very uncomfortable. That my back of my robe, I wish y'all can see my back of my robe is soaked. You can kind of see it coming forward from the front so imagine what the back looked like girl and it just feels icky like I'm clean but it feels icky that my robe is wet so let me find something to put on let this air dry a little bit and I guess I'll talk to y'all what's up babes it's Carlisa Victoria I'm back with another video if you guys are new here hi welcome to the channel if you already are returning subscriber thanks for coming back so y'all I rinsed my hair this morning um, before I left the house. Excuse my lips. You know what? Let me see. I got this uh, lip gloss a long time ago from, um, I believe it was TJ Maxx. Yeah. And it's like mint in it. Y'all know mint make me sneeze, but it's a mint oil. Um, I know that sounds dumb. It makes me sneeze, but I'm using it. It just works really well. Sync has um, connected your phone and is so I got this a long time ago. My lips are chapped. I haven't been feeling good. I've been feeling really sick over the last couple of days. Um, told you guys it's that time of the month, and outside of that, I just been so stressed. Like my appetite has been down. I haven't been eating much, but what I have been eating lots of is uh, broccoli and quinoa. Right now, I just went to the gas station to go grab me a Powerade because you guys know I keep like a lot of water in my house, so. I didn't even have Powerade. I didn't have anything, but I need to restore my electrolytes because, girl, I feel like blah. Um, but, yeah, my hair, like I said, I rinsed it this morning. It's looking real janky right now. Um, I didn't want to retwist it or anything like that. Like, I mean, it sounds nice, but I'm not going to. I think I'm just going to go lay my edges. My lashes are, I took them off. Like, they were starting to fall out this week. I have not set up a new lash appointment, but I'm taking advantage of this right now because when I wash my face, I'm able to be like this. And you know, when you got lashes, you know you can't do that because like the soap, the water, everything will be right there. That's how you know I'm not feeling good, honey. Lips keep getting chapped. Mm. Yeah, but I think when you get to wash your face, you know, like when you're able to throw water on your face and like completely, that's like a, that's a whole self-care vibe. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm tripping, but it's something about when I wash my face and I can do the whole shebang. It's something about that, honey. Cause I feel like I be getting it. I be getting it like getting it. Um, but when I have my lashes, like I said, I have to just be a little bit more careful as to how I wash my face just to make sure that those are intact and that I'm not, I am going to set me a new lash appointment soon. Um, I just feel like I got so much going on right now in my life. And um, honestly, I just kind of just want to take care of the priorities. I'm not saying my lash appointment isn't a priority, but it's not the top, top priority. I literally got so much that I'm trying to tackle, so much I'm trying to do. Um, but I wanted to get on here to just uh, fill y'all in on what's popping. I think I'm going to be vlogging today. Um, so this is just like the, the intro to the vlog. Um, so I'll be vlogging today, but my vlog will mainly take place probably indoor. 
Um, I might actually be coming back out the house soon because I have some things that I need to do. But for right now, I just got on sweatpants and t-shirt. I'm looking real cash, okay? Um, I got a lot of work to do. Like I said, I'm gonna get in. I need to do some cleaning. Y'all, I just feel like, like, y'all know I'm always cleaning. And I know y'all like, girl, why? When I clean up, I just feel the need to move everything to get underneath the spaces that I won't be able to get underneath if I don't move stuff. So that's why y'all always see my background be full of stuff because girl, I'm moving it so I can get under something to clean before I put it back. And that's just me. I've always been like that. Um, just like to keep a clean space, keep things tidied up. I'm gonna light some candles, um, maybe turn on some music and just try to like vibe out and um simultaneously get better i'm gonna take an airborne as well um for my immunity real quick as well um i just feel like it can only help right so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna drink me some detox water i'll probably make me some um kimchi noodles soon but i need to get back in the house it's so beautiful outside i just want to take my lawn chair out and just sit out in the sun but you already know when you do that People gonna wanna walk, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you doing today? And you're just like, girl, sis, I do not wanna talk. <laughs> I don't wanna talk. Like you'll be sitting outside, minding literally your business. And people will be walking past like, oh, hi, I um, haven't seen you before. Or, and it'd be like the whole time you're not even new. You just don't, you just mind your business. So I don't know. Girl, these edges is calling oh girl i gotta go get cute I, like i said i think i'm gonna end up coming back out the house anyway for the day but i've just been feeling so bad and i feel like i've been looking the way i feel and i don't want to look that way so i might go ahead and go you know throw a little bit of edge control or some got to be on my edges and then um you know do a little makeup shmake up and you know the next time i come out the house i might be looking like you know <laughs> I don't know. It might be looking like a vibe. I don't know. <laughs> you know when you don't feel good, you just don't like to feel... You don't like to stay... I don't know about y'all, but I don't like to stay in that mood. Like, I try to do everything I can to kind of just get my immunity and stuff back up. And even though my not feeling good is not all immunity related, it's like whenever I don't feel good, I have to do things to pick myself up. So if that's like, we finna lay these edges and we finna put a little, little makeup today, we about to look put together. Because I feel like how you your your mood could be contingent upon how you look so if you don't feel well chances are you're gonna look like you don't feel well so you gotta shock you gotta shock you you be in the mirror like girl i look a mess and then three seconds later girl beyonce who <laughs> i'm playing but you know what i mean you got to be able to kind of just get yourself up out of that you don't want to stay in that that state of not feeling good not looking good whatever the situation is so but then again, part of me is like, girl, it's hot out here, okay? And it's probably gonna rain, so makeup wear. The whole vibes can change. I can get in the house and just get to cleaning and be like, makeup wear. I at least know I need to do something to my edges because, girl, they bothering me. They look like a little fuzz girl. And I don't mind, you know, like having the natural without the retwist but baby the edges need to be honey they need to be tamed because right now they're being disrespectful my neighbors are probably looking out their windows like is this girl really in this camera like this i am <laughs> and hey but yes y'all i'm about to go in the house i'm saying that but this self-care in the car it hit different i'll see y'all in a little bit girl I was about to just give up on my brows today because it's not happening for me okay my brow girl kind of she made my brows too thin I ain't gonna hold you I'm not even using the right I'm not even using an angle brush right now like I'm using a eyelid brush so this is like literally taking a little bit more skill than usual because the brush is not angled it's rounded um and i'm doing that because i have used up all my angle brushes today trying to you know get decent brows 
I realized when I tried to start doing my brows that they weren't doing what they were supposed to because she literally, y'all, she thinned my brows out a little bit too much this time. And I think she does amazing on brows, but baby, you made my brows a little bit too thin. And I already took off my lashes like yesterday or so, or the day before. And girl, I haven't been feeling good, so I haven't even set an appointment which I need to do because I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better than I was earlier. I've been just <clears throat> drinking Powerade and water and stuff like that. Just trying to get my electrolytes up. But girl, she, yeah, I about gave up on these brows. And I'm like, well, let me try to do something. You know what I mean? I don't got much I can do, but I got something I can do. Like all of these angle brushes right here. I have literally was trying to... I don't know what's going on with my uh, brow dip, but girl, it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So I was just, when I was about to like be done with these brows, cause I was like, I'm gonna just not do my brows. I was like, you know what? Let me just, let me just try to see what I can get, you know, out of using this rounded brush. See if I can, you know, manipulate the situation real quick. That's why I be liking to have on lashes because I feel like I can do nothing to my face, like no makeup, no nothing, and it's gonna come through. So I guess we're just gonna have to go through with these little uh, spider leg crawlers today, sis. I mean, what other choice do we got? Ain't gonna be no um, lash appointment today, so what other choice do we have? Girl, bruh. Time for the hair review? Yeah. No, yeah, no. No, yeah. I think I need to go put on some clothes. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some clothes and then I'll be back. Okay, sis, so I'm about to take a picture. This is my hair. Yes, y'all, my um, hair don't even look locked it to, up top to it. Yeah, child, that's because of, baby, that's because of the new growth, okay? So I'm gonna try to take a picture. I got my hair kind of half. I got on a quick little fit. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna take it in here. I put my LED light on. I don't even know if I like my hair, but I might take my picture in here. Do I wanna do it with a bag or do I wanna go in a living room? I don't know, child. I just feel like, <laughs> let me get a picture. Bro, my, my kneecap look a bit ashy. I might need to get some lotion. Tell about a picture. What about some lotion, sis? So, let me try to get this picture situated before it don't be no picture. And I, I'll, I'll fill y'all in. Literally, they don't move. <laughs> Girl, like, I ain't even get to lay them the way I wanted to lay them before it was too late. Y'all, so, okay, I got a dilemma. I can't find my other uh, phone. Like, I cannot find my phone. And I know that that phone is probably blowing up off the hook. And I remember I felt like yesterday I had it in the house. Like, I mean, it would be bad to go a whole day and not know. And I don't think I left it anywhere because I remember having them in the house. But I just don't know where the other one is. And apparently it died. Um, so it's not ringing. I called it earlier it's not ringing I, I have like no access to anything um at all like i have absolutely no idea where it is like i've been looking i've been searching i looked through some stuff earlier and then i stopped and now i feel like i have to get back on the task of looking because well because i need to like when i tell you i have absolutely no idea where this thing is like absolutely no idea like i started looking through stuff and looking for it but y'all i have no idea like at all sheesh i'm not about to get into all this heavy lifting today um but i have no idea and i think one of the worst things on trying to find a phone is when it's dead when a phone is dead and you're looking for it that's probably the worst thing because you don't know wherever it's at it's not ringing it's not making any noises like i've looked everywhere 
I need to put it on the charger. Girl, I've got no idea where this thing is. Like, absolutely no idea. So I guess I'm probably gonna put up my stuff so I can, I'm gonna take a little bit of time to try to find this because it's kind of aggravating. It didn't it didn't connect to my car either. So I know it's not in the car. Because I went and looked in the car. It's not in the car. Um, it didn't connect. Obviously, like I said, when I called it earlier, it went straight to voicemail. So I'm hoping that it went straight to voicemail because it's somewhere around my house and it's dead. Not it went straight to voicemail because I lost it and somebody turned it off. I just like, if I can remember proper, properly... I felt like I had it in the house yesterday. I felt like it was in here. Um, I just have absolutely no idea where. I need to literally shave my armpits. I told you guys the razors that I have are not, they're not really working. I don't even have like a lot of hair, I have thick hair um, under my arms and stuff, but I mean, it's growing, but those razors are just not, they're too dull. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea where this phone is. Like, I'm going to have to strip this whole bed just to try to, girl, I've got no idea. I don't know if it slipped and I put it in a basket. I mean, at this point, I really need to find it because I'm going to have to assume that it's lost in a little bit. Like, you know how sometimes you're like, okay, I know I've seen it in the house before, so it's got to be here. But then you're like, wait a minute, did I see it before I left the house or did I see it after? And at this point, since it's, since it's a day past, I got to find it because otherwise, like I said, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to assume that it is lost, which is not good. So I need that. I mean, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I can go without a phone and be cool because, like, I really don't want to talk most times anyway. But it's not good because I know that number... I mean, that phone is literally, I need to get access to it. I've got absolutely no idea, y'all, where this phone is. I have no idea. Like, I've looked through everything. And here I go about to tear this bed up, trying to find it. This is not how stuff is supposed to be right now. But I have absolutely no idea. I'm looking in the bed. I ain't seeing nothing in the bed. Guess I have to start putting stuff back where it goes since I'm doing this. I'm trying to think where was the last place. The last place I really felt like I saw it, I'm not seeing it. So, but I'm, I'm not recalling having left to go anywhere where I would have left the phone. Like I said, I feel like I honestly remember it being here. I remember seeing it. So, this is like, I ain't gonna hold you, it's bothering me because I need to find it. And it's about to make me like. In the end of the day, you know when you be looking for something and you just end up cleaning up? And you're like, you know, I'm going to find it as I'm cleaning up. Because, you know, I'm not about to do all of this. That's how I feel. Like, I'm just going to have to find it amidst my cleanup. Then I'm like, that's not a good way to think, sis. We need to find this thing. No idea where this joker is. No idea. Like, absolutely no idea. I looked behind the bed, like maybe it would have fallen, but I still didn't see it. Still didn't see it. I really have absolutely no idea. <sighs> I'm hoping I didn't throw it in the trash either. I know that sounds bad, but... 
I think it's very much so possible to throw, throw a phone in the trash and not realize. So I'm hoping that I didn't do that. But like I said, I still, it's, I don't know, because it's not making noise. Wherever it is, it isn't ringing. I gotta clean this bathroom because it looks a mess. And remember, I told y'all I had to move this in here temporarily. These, um, these, uh, I'm gonna have to try to go through these because this is a very possibility that it could be in here. Yeah, I'm cleaning the bathroom today because it's, it's just, it's time. Trash is full, everything. So let me talk to y'all in a little bit. Let me search for this phone just a little bit. See what I can, you know, turn up. Then I'll see y'all in a bit. I don't even want to tell y'all where the phone was at because I feel so embarrassed. I feel so embarrassed. Okay, fine. I'm going to tell y'all where the phone was at. It was under my note cards. <laughs> I looked in that spot so many times too, y'all. But the phone was under the note cards. So y'all know how I stayed up late last night being very productive. I couldn't sleep. I wasn't feeling good, but I had to study a little bit before I went to bed. Girl, the phone. Girl, I'm so embarrassed. The phone was under the note cards. I'm like, this don't make no sense. Girl, the phone was up under the note cards. So I said, you know, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. So that's that's where we at on that. Um, did she stop the screen sharing? Because it's still asking me questions. Yeah, let me, I just, I took a picture not too long ago. I'm going to upload it. I got to start working on this vlog and I got a lot of stuff to do today. So let me get this together. Okay, y'all. So I know this vlog wasn't that long. Um, I mean, it really was. It was like an hour vlog. I cut it down, actually. Um, but I just wanted to say, go ahead and follow my Instagram at Curly's Victoria. Um, spell the exact same way as my YouTube channel. All my other channels are in the bio if you are interested in following there. Um, I'm eating me some kimchi noodles right now. These noodles are great. I had to um, mute the sound for copyright issues. Okay, hey babe, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Girl, I'm in the vlog. I'm still eating my kimchi noodles. Y'all, these, these noodles, these noodles is next level, baby. I don't know if it's just me or they just hit him or both. Mm. Well, they gotta be hitting because I buy them often, so. <clears throat> It's perfect because it's like a it's like a broth. It's like a soup for me. So when I don't be feeling too well, this is an easy go-to. And even if I am feeling well, I can eat these. But like definitely when I'm not feeling too too good, I can. Because granted, I'm making my YouTube videos and stuff like that as a part of my routine of low schedule, but. It don't mean that I don't feel too well. I just, I'm just a person who try to push through everything I go through. Like, I don't want to stay down for too long. I could be feeling like, literally like I'm about to pass out and I'm still about to give some type of effort until I absolutely can't. And I know that's probably not the best thing. Um, it's because you got to allow your body and stuff to rest, but I just feel like, how am I going to get to my goals? How am I going to accomplish the things I want to accomplish if I make excuses? I'm not going to, so. These noodles, so good. Once I get finished with the noodles, I like to drink the juice. Like I told you guys, it's like a broth. And it's kimchi. Kimchi is a probiotic food. So the kimchi noodles actually have kimchi bits in here in the flavor so like i said if you don't like kimchi you wouldn't like these but if you like kimchi you'll be down for the ride i haven't even had my coffee for the day it's like two or three right now 
I don't like to eat, co drink coffee late in the day, but I'm be up late. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.